Welcome to the last day of February. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Maddie Hager, and this is your KWHS News. College visits for the month of February wind down today with CU Denver, but March visits kick off this Friday with the Paul Mitchell School. Next Wednesday, the reps from Rocky Mountain College of Art and Design will be here for a visit. If you're interested in learning more about the U.S. Air Force Academy, the USAFA admissions teams will be here on Tuesday, April 24th at 6.30 p.m. in the WHS Auditorium to tell you all about the Academy, life as a cadet, and how to navigate the applications and admissions process. Recent graduates will be available afterwards to answer any questions you may have. This event is open to all students and parents. Remember, it's never too early to start shopping around for your next academic step. Be sure to have a pass from the Counseling Center. The 2018 African American Youth Leadership Conference will be held on March 10th from 7 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. at Colorado College. The conference is free and is open to all students in grades 6 through 12. Seniors, this is a great scholarship opportunity. Applications are available in the Counseling Center in the attendance office. You can also register on the link on the Counseling webpage. Remember, the conference is free for students. Lastly, for seniors, Kiri Carmody needs you. Well, she needs your senior photos for the yearbook and senior slideshow. Remember, your photos don't have to be from this year. Dig deep to find those photos your mom took of you in elementary school and the ones you have from those junior high events. We all want to see how you've changed through the years. Send your photos to Kiri's email address, and please make sure you are sending photos of seniors only. And now let's check in with Miss Betsy for today's lunch menu. Happy Wednesday, everybody! Hi. How you doing? What's for lunch today? Dun dun dun! Super nacho! <laughs> oh, I know you love them, so come on down. And I think on Thursday we're gonna have barbecue. Rib sandwiches. Barbecue rib sandwich. Is there going to be coleslaw for that? There's going to be coleslaw. You got to have coleslaw with your barbecue rib sandwich. Yep, -er. we'll see you then. Thanks and have a great day. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy and Mr. Bergen. Students, please add money to your lunch account by going online or seeing Miss Betsy in the cafeteria. The district talent show auditions will be held tomorrow in the band room from 3 to 5 p.m. They're looking for individuals and group performers, bands, dance troops, and drama or comedy routine. It's not America's Got Talent, but you never know who might be in the audience. If you need additional information, see Mrs. Miller in room 750. The Home Builders Association reps will be here today to tell you more about job options and career opportunities in the construction trades. Chat with them in the lower comments to find out how you can be part of this rapidly growing career field. We'll be back in a bit with some club news and fundraising information. But first, here's Moose Santos with their Gladiator Sports Update. Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Moose Santos with your Gladiator Sports Update. Juniors and seniors, guess what time it is? Come on, guess what it is? That's right, it's powder puff time. Student cabinet is getting teams ready for this year's powder puff game. Starting on March 12th, if you would like to participate, they need players, cheerleaders, and coaches. See Ms. Melton in room 103 to sign up and pick up your permission slips. Permission slips are due by March 23rd. Spring sports practices started on Monday, and we are expecting some strong performances from our teams this year, starting with the baseball team. The varsity baseball team is kicking off their preseason game with a scrimmage against Lewis Palmer on Saturday morning at 11.30 in Monument. Come check out the boys do their thing on the diamond. If you can't make it up the road, our JV team is also playing the Lewis Palmer Rangers right here on Big Blue at 11.30 on Saturday. You never know who might swing up to varsity, so come check it out. Also in baseball news, the baseball team flapjack fundraiser date has been changed to Sunday, March 11th at Applebee's on Highway 8587. Remember, $10 will get you some mouth-watering flapjacks served by your favorite WHS ball player. Buy your ticket today from any baseball player or stop by the main office. NJRTC cadets, remember, Outside guest forms for the military ball are due tomorrow. To ensure your date can attend the ball, get that form in on time. Also, remember that the information for the Peterson Air Force Base gate and your money is due as well. Be sure to have it in to Major Davis or Master Chief Preston no later than March 5th. Stay tuned on Friday when Doc will continue her theme on safe weight loss with increased physical activity. Speaking of Doc, any student interested in being a student athletic trainer for spring sports, please come to the informational meeting on Thursday, March 1st in the athletic training room 511 at 4 p.m. 
See Doc for more information if you are unable to attend. The Ultimate Frisbee team started practices last week, checking with Mr. Nell in room 116 or Mr. Wallace in room 4 for information and practices. Student Senate is looking for some strong warriors for their warrior games against Fountain Fort Carson. If you would like to sign up, please see Miss Melton in room 103 starting today. Let's keep our winning streak going. In basketball news, the road to the big dance continues as our men's team travels to Longmont tonight to take on the Raptors from Silver Creek High School in the Sweet 16 leg of this playoff season. If you're able to travel up to Longmont, the boys would appreciate your support. Tip-off time is 6.30 p.m. And finally, our Lady Glads traveled to Broomfield last night to take on the Holy Family Tigers in the Sweet 16 round of playoffs. Congratulations to our Lady Glads for taking their game this far. Our Lady Glads took the number two Tigers out of the mix with a win. Our Lady Glads now move on to the great eight round on friday night where they will play the golden demons that's it for our gladiator sports update good luck to our athletes and practices and games this week i'm moose santos now back to you corinne and maddie thanks moose if you signed up to donate blood remember to return your permission slip by march 8th to miss melton in room 103 if you do not return your consent forms your donation slot will be given to another student signups are closed for now Ladies attending the military ball and early planners for prom. Schedule your appointments to check out the dresses in Becca's closet, now with Miss HK in the Media Center or Miss Melina in room 111. Remember, the ball is on March 9th and prom is scheduled for April 21st. Remember, you get to keep the dresses you select. The library would like to remind everyone to return any overdue materials you may have hiding in your locker, car, backpack, or under the bed. You should also pay any late fines so you don't get put on conditions in IC. The WHS Theater Department will have a bake sale this week in the Science Hall to support the production of the Adams family. All baked goods will be under two dollars. And speaking of the theater department, their production of The Adams Family, the musical, will be March 8th through the 10th at 7 p.m. Tickets are $7 for students and $10 for adults. Come see all your favorites, Gomez, Marticia, and Wednesday, sing and dance their way across the stage and into your hearts. And finally, congratulations to our newly inducted NHS members, all Renaissance card recipients, and the golden ticket nominees and winners. We are exceptionally proud of all the positives we bring to Widefield High School. Keep up the excellent work. That's all for our news today. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Maddie. Hager, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great week. Don't